Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, yeah, this last week I ran a poll. Uh, a bunch of you guys voted, like a hundred of you guys voted. Really cool, thanks a lot. Uh, got to see what you guys really want. And, uh, it was super close. You know, uh, I think 34% of you wanted to see how to do every boss in, uh, challenge mode, Cox. And, uh, very close second, 33% of you wanted to see how to run regular Cox with a budget build. So today, uh, we're gonna do every room in CM, and the budget build is coming soon. That'll be next, don't worry. I'm not forgetting about you guys. But, uh, today we're gonna do every room challenge mode Cox. And, uh, I am gonna bring, uh, pretty good gear. I'm bringing almost best in slot gear. Uh, you don't need all this, it, it can be done without it. But, um... I don't want the video to be like an hour long, so I'm just going to bring pretty good gear and give a quick gist of what to do in every room. No crazy strats, uh, simple strats that you can do with most gear, um, and we're just going to get into it. So I got a six way range swap, six way mage swap, uh, going to bring a couple stamina potions, three stamina potions, so I guess not a couple, we're bringing three. Uh, that's mostly for Ulm. We're going to be using these at Ulm. Uh, got a Super Restore. Got a Sand View. This will be for Shamans. Uh, this is my pre-pot right here. I'll pull that back up with Angler when we're done. And just a real quick rundown. Um, I got a Special Attack Weapon Claws. Got to bring a Pickaxe. Um, I have a Mace. It's, it's really good for Tecton. But it can also be a Stab Weapon. Um, so you need a Stab Weapon. Uh, and I'll be using this instead of a lance, but you can use a lance. Uh, and I'll just kind of talk through it as we do every room. And I'll tell you what kind of gear you can use. And the strategies I'm going to be using can be done with pretty much most gear. Uh, you can do this with as little as, you know, you can do this with under 500 mil if you want to use void. But uh, spellbook, real quick. I got it on normal just for surge. And I got surge runes in the pouch. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's just run this, uh, let's run a CM. Oh, shoot. I should pre-pot. How about that, right? There we go. Getting ahead of myself. Fill that back up with some anglers, and let's go. So, first room is Tecton. CMs are cool. They're always the same. CMs never change the order. And this right here is going to be our engage tile for Tecton. So throw some prayers on. Boom. Slap him with the Dragon Warhammer. Slap him with another one. And we're just going to go corner to corner. I think I got it on stab still. There we go. We want this on crush. So we're going to use a crush weapon. Lance can be a crush weapon. Uh, you can use an Elder Maul. I'm using the uh, the Inquisitor's Maze, but yeah, it's just to speed things up again a bit. Uh, better crush weapon, faster it goes. So when he does that little transition, you just move two tiles at a time. Every couple ticks, every three ticks, every four ticks, you just run real quick. Just a couple tiles at a time, and Tucktown's easy. Take no damage. It's just corner to corner, circling around him. Always counterclockwise. You can see we're going counterclockwise. You gotta go counterclockwise. If you go clockwise, he's still gonna hit you. So you gotta go counterclockwise. But he ain't bad. If you don't got the Inquisitor's Mace, like I said, Lance, um, if you got some money, you can, you can still do it with a Scythe. Scythe is no big deal. Uh, one-handed weapons are nice, four-tick weapons are nice, but, uh, yeah, two down, pretty standard if you got good gear, this is pro, this is looking like a two down, uh, the worst gear you got, it can go on for a while, I'll, I'll tell ya, Tuktan can definitely be a, a four or five down, depending on how good your gear is, but, yep, he's done, uh, we don't need the angler, and he always drops the same thing. So we'll take an overload. We'll take a restore. Take a prayer in hands. And we're on to the next room. Next room is crabs. Uh, a lot of people think crabs is a little confusing. It's not that bad. I got some tiles marked. 
Uh, we'll grab one crab, so there we go. And we're gonna try and stand him on this green tile right there. I was a little slow. No big deal. But the green tile that I have marked right here, we'll use range. Shoot him with a range shot. And that will turn that purple crystal green. The next tile that I just stood that crab on was red, so we make him red with melee. Now we walk crab over here to this other red tile that I got marked. And that'll get that blue crystal, right? So you need a red orb for the blue crystal. Now I got these two blue tiles up here, so smack one there, smack one there. Just keep that guy from moving, he doesn't matter. And we need this guy to move real quick. So he's gonna come over to our blue tile. There we go. And this one's gonna be hit with magic. Blue for magic. And that'll get this yellow crystal out of the way. Like that. Smack them so they don't move. Keep them in place. And we bring the final crab down here to this yellow tile. And this is the neutral tile. Oops, spray ran out. Put that back up. And the black crystal gets the neutral tile. I don't even need that brew. You can pick that brew up if you want. I don't need it. Go on to the next room. Throw that melee gear back on. And this is our scab room. Um, in CMs, we're going to scab on the first floor. We will not be prepping at the very end just before Ulm. We will actually be prepping at the end of the first floor. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop the overload and the prayer in hands right here. Pick up a tinderbox. Pick up an axe. Get chopping. So this is Ice Demon. And uh, in order to do Ice Demon, we'll see him in a sec. Let me just run up. There he is. So he's frozen. He's frozen in place. And he won't fight you until you thaw him out. So the way we do that is we chop these trees and get the kindling. And we'll get, I don't know, a little over 20, what? Tw oh, 27, more than enough. You can hold, you can hold 28, so this is like almost max. And we'll light up one of the braziers. Chop another tree. Gonna get another 20 or so, 25 maybe. And uh, after that, we'll just light another brazier. So the beginning eye is demon, pretty easy, pretty trivial. There we go, 26, light the second brazier. And the more braziers we light, the faster he thaws. For this casual run, we're just gonna run two, or we're just gonna light two, no big deal. I'll get 20-ish more, you know, there's perfect numbers you can use, but we're not even gonna worry about it. Let's get 20-ish. There you go. 19, good enough. Pull up the second brazier so it doesn't, you know, go out. And while he's thawing, he's thawing right now, we're going to go back, pick up our potions. Here, we can drop this. We don't need that anymore. And uh, this is our scaff. So let's get some, po or let's get some uh, supplies for the raid. Well, actually, I'll overload up. Heal back up while that's going. Get our prayer up. Why not? We need some empty inventory space anyway. And uh, let's throw on our melee gear. All we need are the mushrooms, the planks, and the juice. There we go. Juice, mushrooms, planks. Uh, let's see. So mushrooms make super restores. So we can make 27 super restores. 30 brews. We're good. We're good. We don't need any more than that. Take this prayer off and we'll talk about ice demon real quick. Drop some on the ground. So I got this tile marked right here. Check out this tile. I got this tile marked right here. This is going to be our engage tile. So throw range prayer on. We're gonna get two Dragon Warhammer hits off and then we're gonna run back to our engage tile. One, missed. Two, that one hit, which is nice. Let's throw our Mage Gear on. So for Ice Demon, I brought Surge. Uh, 
So we'll throw on Range Prey, throw on Augury, and we're going to take Run off. We want to walk. And here's what we're going to do from our Engage Tile. Surge him. Move back. Surge him. Move back. So it's going to be that easy. We'll go in and out. In and out. And he'll never hit us. He's a pretty free boss. You know, especially when you hit some Dragon Warhammers. We can get into a nice little pattern. Nice little group. He won't hit us as long as we go back to our engage tile. Just don't rush yourself. Don't go too fast and he'll never hit you. You can kill him completely. Zero damage boss right from this engage tile. Oops. Almost down. A couple more hits. Assuming RNG is with us. One more. That's probably it. There we go. He's down. Let's pick up that potion we dropped and we'll make our chest right here. This chest will carry through with us for the whole rest of the raid. So once we build it, it's ours. Uh, let's see, we'll put some of our staminas away, let's put our secondaries away, won't need those, and we're, we're probably pretty good, let's go on with this. So the next room is shamans, and this is why we brought the sand fuse serum, it's for, uh, it's for poison resistance. And what we can do in the shaman room is we can actually safe spot him, we're gonna safe spot him right here, so here's what we'll do, we'll hit him, and we'll run to our little safe spot. And we hope he jumps. There we go. He jumped right away. And then we run down here. And he is safe spotted. So it's very nice. Now get this, right? You can use a crossbow here. You can use a twisted bow. Uh, the crossbow might have to be on long range to hit him from here. I think you can even hit him here. No, no, no. So that, that tile is not safe. So you got to be here. Hopefully those don't hit me. Leave me alone. Go back here, but we saw yeah, he's in a safe spot. He can't even move as long as we stay in This little row right here. We'll be good to go And he's down go grab that second one Bring him back to our safe spot And hopefully he jumps There oh wow, he jumped right away So if he throws poison at you, you know, you got to run away from the poison uh, and then, you you know, once you've dodged his little poison splat thing, uh, you just run back to your safe spot. Try to get him to jump. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, the crystal bow, the bofa, a crossbow on long range, and you can hit him from this little safe spot tile. No big deal. Here we go. Easy room. And these guys drop seeds. All we need in a CM is Buchu. Because we have an overload... We have a prayer in hands. All we need is Pichu. This is our farm room. Uh, we are going to be farming at the top of floor one. Or at the end of floor one. So we'll get a spade. We'll get a seed dipper. Plant some Buchu. And bank all of our goodies. I'll put them in the normal chest. Here we go. And I'll take my seeds back out. My spade. Uh, my seed dipper, and let me also grab my secondary, so I'll just grab all of them. Cool. Grab some gourds from this tree. Fill them up at the water fountain. We'll fill them all. Full inventory. Now, depending on how comfortable you are with CMs, how many CMs you've done, you might want to make some extra potions, so why not? Right? Grab some more gourds. Fill them all up. We're not really worried about time too much. Uh, the time to beat, uh, it's over an hour. I forget exactly what it is. Might be an hour 10, might be an hour 20. I don't remember what it is. It's over an hour. So you have a lot of time to finish this raid in a solo. No big deal. Throw those in the chest, got plenty. Start picking. So however many uh, gourds we filled up with water, we'll just pick that many Buchu. Right, that way we can make all of our potions. So this is the easy part of the raid. Chilling, farming, 
uh, there's faster ways to do this, there's more efficient ways to do this. Um, if you're doing trios, you know, five mans goes a lot faster, everyone's kind of making potions. Uh, sometimes you have a dedicated prepper, sometimes everybody preps their own stuff. Obviously for a solo we're prepping our own stuff. But yeah, we get our full inventory. Wipe off all of our herbs. They do come grimy, so we gotta clean those off, throw them in the shared chest, and we'll do it again. So yeah, this is the boring part of the raid. This is why everyone wants to speed up prep. Because this is we're wasting a lot of time just sitting here prepping, farming. Uh, we still gotta make the potions, which is also a drag, but we're almost done. Looks like we're basically done with our seeds and our seed dibbers, so that'll give us a few extra spaces. I'll just remember, I'll get two less. No point in having extra boo chew. Uh, maybe this one uh, runs out early anyway. We'll see. And looks like we're done. Clean them all off. And one way we can save a little bit of time, we don't really need to save time for a casual run, but if we want to save a little bit of time, we can make them while we run. There we go, we're running from one room to the next and we're making our potions. I guess I'll make, I don't know, 10 of these, why not? You can make more, you can make less, you don't need 10. But yeah, it saves a little bit of time to make them while we're running. Don't need to. Put them in the chest. Grab some more. Uh, grab just a few more. Now we'll make some brew. These brew will get us through the raid. And what we're going to do after we're done prepping our potions and farming, we're going to go into the vanguard. So I'll make 10 more. Just to be safe. Why not? We don't need all these, but, you know, better safe than sorry, right? Make a few more brews. Maybe make a few more restores. You'll get a feel for how many you need. You don't have to make all these. When you're learning, you might. Anyway, ready to move on. Let's withdraw all of our stuff, and we'll put away what we don't need. So all we need, we need our melee gear, range gear, mage gear, and we need some good weapons for vanguards. So I don't need any of these. I'm going to bring my special attack weapon, my claws. I don't need my staminas, but I'll bring one. And then we'll bring two or three restores and a couple brews, and we'll head on into vanguards. Sip the pool on the way. Overload up. Drink our prayer in hands. And we can heal up while we're running there. I have this tile marked right here. I like to engage from this tile. So let's see. The blue one is the major. And we're going to kill the Major with range. It's combat triangle, right? So, Majors are weak to range. Looks like the melee one's coming my way, and we all know. Magic beats melee. Don't let him run away. Kind of get close. Repull that aggro. And we can safe spot him right here. Too bad. Kind of moved away. We got to keep him even. So the ranger up here gets hit with the melee. Right, and we can see this bar up here. We can see that's a little bar down there. If they drop below that bar, they will reset. So you do not want to drop below that second bar. Here, we'll see it again. There it is right there. We can't drop him below this bar. Otherwise, they'll reset. So we got to get off him early. And we could rush to another one, but we only want to aggro one at a time. So we'll just wait for that major to move and we'll see where he goes. Let's see where that major goes. He's going down, so we'll go down. 
get a nice hit or two off on him. That's a pretty big hit. Now you don't want to get him too low, so let's just hit the Ranger. You can always come back here and lose the aggro off of them. If you're getting pelted with damage, you can come back there. Alright, so the melee is right here, so we can hit the melee a little bit with magic. Make sure he doesn't get too low, it's a little sketchy. So let's go to our range gear. We'll hit the major, he's way over there. Couple hits. Gets a little low, we want to be careful, so we're going to hit the ranger. Let's see where he goes. He's coming over by us. So we'll slap him with some melee. Now there is a Cox plugin. There is a Chambers of Zarek plugin. And that's very helpful to color code these guys. Otherwise, you kind of got to memorize what they look like. They all look slightly different. But if you get the Cox plugin, you can see what color they are. That was a big hit. So we don't want to kill him too much. We got to kill the Major. We got to get the Major low. They're both pretty low. Here comes the Major. And now watch this. Almost there. Oh, that line is pretty close. Getting dangerous. Ah, we got him. No big deal. So who's high? We got this Vanguard over here. So we'll kill him. He's got the most health. Let's declaw this fool. That's why we brought the spec weapon. Wipe him out. Boom. Then we finish off the last one. So it doesn't matter how fast you kill them. You just have to keep their health relatively similar. You can't just nuke one of them. Let's get our potions. So this is great. They drop all kinds of goodies for us. We don't need this. We'll definitely take the revites. Don't need that half drink brew. Don't need a second one of those prayer enhances. Let's grab some brews. And off we go to thieving. I'll just drop this. I don't need it. Actually, I'll drink it. Why not? So thieving's nice. You can start thieving as soon as you get in here. As long as you have an open inventory slot. And in a solo, we need 30 total grubs. We can hold 28. So we'll get maybe 15, maybe 20. Uh, bats, you know, I guess we could eat them, but our overload's about to run out. That'll heal us back up to full health when it's done. I don't know why I opened that. Yeah, so the Cox plugin, it'll tell you, um, once you find bats or once one of them's poison, it'll tell you what chest you don't want to open. So I kind of brain farted right there and clicked the green chest anyway, but oh well. Oh, we got 20 grubs, so let's start filling it up. And he'll start eating. When you feed him 30 grubs, he'll be done. And it counts down. This is all the Cox plugin. All these cool things, it's all one plugin. It's just the Cox plugin. Let's see, it tells me how many grubs I got up here. We're up to 30, so we're done. Fill them up. And we'll prepare for what a lot of people think is the scariest room in the raid. So I got mage gear on. I'll be killing Vespula with mage. But you can also use range gear. Max mage is the best. Followed by range gear. So if you don't have the shadow and all the mage gear. You can just use whatever range gear you got. That's going to be your method for killing Vespula. And what we're going to do is we're going to drink a stam before we go. Sip that overload, drink the prayer in hands, and I like to be full HP. I know other people, you know, there are ways to beat Vespula without full HP, but you use, you know, you'll use more revites, or maybe uh, if you know the prayer in hands method, there's also a fancy prayer in hands method. We're not going to do any of that. So I got my quick prayers set. I'll show them to redemption and then the offensive prayer of the style I'm using. So I'm using augury. Throw that on. And we're going to hit the portal and run to this safe spot. And we're just going to go back and forth. Hitting the portal back to the safe spot. And our redemption is on. 
So Vespula will not kill us. If we drop too low, we're just going to get an automatic heal. And I'll show you what we do when that happens. So here we go. We're getting really low. We drink a sip of our uh, Super Restore, and we get right back to it. Drink some Super Restore, get right back to it. Right, so you don't gotta rush it. You got plenty of time. Drink the Super Restore, turn the prayer back on, get right back to it. Vespula doesn't have to be hard. You don't gotta go fast. You can take your time and go nice and slow. Drink your Super Restore, get right back to it. Right, we're not rushing at all. Just when our prayer goes off, we just stand on the safe tile, drink a Super Restore, get the prayer back on, and get right back in rhythm. Vespula does not have to be a hard boss. She drops a bunch of cool supplies, she gives you an overload, another prayer in hand, she gives you some brews. We're on to the next room. Next room is Tightrope. So we're going to put our range gear on for Tightrope. If you have plenty of supplies, you don't even need to stop at the chest. Oops. What we're going to do is we're going to kill the Majors. Kill the Majors first. Maybe I should have topped off, but it's not really a big deal. They go down really quick. Alright, so yeah, maybe I should have brought an extra brew. Would have been nice. I don't know, the rangers can hit really hard. And we'll kill the second major. So when you're first learning CMs, don't worry about fancy techniques like tightrope skipping or anything like that. We're just going to kill all four monsters. There will always be two majors and two rangers. So for the rangers, you can stand here. It's safe. If you're worried, you can stand here. Click him. Run back. Click him. Run back. It's easy. And we can take our time and heal whenever is necessary. If they hit us a really big hit, just heal up. No big deal. Hits me at 25, heal up. He can't hit me here. We're safe. So it's a really nice little safe spot right there. Same thing for this guy. He can't hit us. Really good safe spot right here. Boom. Once they're all dead, we can cross the rope. So yeah, you know, when you're learning this, bring some extra brews. I, I was pretty... I, you know, it was a close call right there. It would have been nice to have some extra brews. I was sweating. I was getting nervous. Uh, worst case scenario, if you run out, there is a chest right back here. There's a chest in that little farming room. So if you run out of potions, go grab some more. No big deal. We're not in a rush. Look, I said we have more than an hour to do this in. We're, we're at 25 minutes. We got plenty of time. We're already going into the third floor. So here's what we're going to do. Let's see. I'll, let me throw on my melee gear. And what we need for this final room. Let me just put all my potions away. Make it really easy to look at. I don't need either of those. I need my pickaxe. I need my Zamorak God Sword. I need my stab weapon, and for my stab weapon, I'm using the Inquisitor's Mace, and that's all we need. So let me take that back off again. These are the only items that we need for the bottom floor. We need a Zamorak God Sword to freeze Muted Isle, a stab weapon, a pickaxe, and maybe a special attack weapon. You can get away with just the stab weapon, but a special attack weapon as well is really nice. And we're ready to go. So bring a stamina. You definitely want a stamina for the final floor. Get an overload and a prayer in hands. Maybe three rebites. Probably about three rebites. And then the rest brew. And we're good to go. We'll heal up at the energy well. Get our, uh, our run energy back. 
and we send it to the third and final floor. And the first monster we're going to run into are the guardians. So let's, uh, let's overload up. Heal ourselves with brew. We could have done this upstairs and brought one more extra brew. So we can definitely, we could have done this upstairs. No harm in doing that. Throw a melee prayer. Now watch this little pattern I do. I'm one tile away from him, right? I'm not right next to him. I'm one tile away. In, two out, in. In, two out, in. In, two out, in. And we'll get in this little rhythm, right? And he will very rarely hit us if he drops a rock from the sky doing this pattern um it'll never hit us and the reason why we want to do this pattern is because it saves a lot of run energy you know rather than doing big flinches um we do like these little mini ones and we save basically double the run energy it's great especially if you got your stamina potion on you won't have to worry about your run energy at all but we're just doing the same pattern over and over again. Very easy room. Come over here and do the exact same thing. Right? So in, two out, in. In, two out, in. And we'll just stay with the exact same pattern. Very easy room. You know, so I recommend learning this little, this little pattern. This little walking pattern that I'm showing you right here. It's very easy. Uh, also, a lot of people, what a lot of people like to do is they like to do it this way. In, out. Wait. In, out. That wastes a lot of run energy if you do it that way. So if you do it this way, not only do you save run energy, but if you ever run trios or you ever run with a team, you look a lot cooler when you do it this way. So there, there's a little double plus, right? Very easy room. Alright. So we're about to head into Vasa. And Vasa is a real big pain. Vasa is a big pain. Um, if you're using Vengeance, Vasa, you can do a nice big hit right off the start. But we don't have Vengeance. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with our range gear on. And we'll put our stab weapon up top. Make sure our stab weapon is actually on stab, but we're gonna start up here. We have all of our melee swaps ready to go really quick like up here. And what we're gonna do when we engage with Vasa, he's gonna do a huge hit. He's gonna drain you all the way down to five HP. It doesn't matter what health you are right now to start, but he's gonna drain you all the way down to five HP. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink a brew while we're stunned and that'll actually keep us a little higher than 5 HP it's nicer if I was a little lower actually let me do that let me do that so let me just overload get a little lower HP right I'll show you what I mean so we're entering Vasa with 64 HP and he's gonna drain us down to 5 which means that he'll do about 59, 60 damage. Looks like we're going up to 65. So he's going to do about 60 damage to us. While we're stunned, let's look at it. We'll do it in real time. Here it goes. While we're stunned, drink two doses of brew. Sip some brew. Restore back up. And now we got plenty of health. Throw our range prayer on. And this is great. These tiles that I have right here. They're a safe spot. Kinda. While he's walking and out of your range, they're kinda like a safe spot. So we hit the crystal. We got a special attack weapon. Let's spec it. And it's dead. So we run back to our safe spot, throw our range gear on, and hit him. Hit him with range from as far away as possible. He starts walking away from us. We just hit him some more. Little worried about your health? Don't worry about brewing. Just brew up. It doesn't matter. All right. Put our stab weapon back on. Kill the crystal. So Vasa is definitely harder with lower range gear. The Tebow makes this boss significantly easier. It really does. But you can do this with a Bofa. Bofa's okay. 
Um, anything less than a Bofa, and, and this boss bossa starts getting really annoying. Which is why budget CMs aren't very fun. Uh, both is doable. So he's walking toward us. We'll just run under him really quick. Take a little chip damage. Not a big deal. And he's down. Oh, he's not down yet. So that's a two down crystal. Let's just wait for him. There he is. He starts walking back center. Just kill him. If he makes it to the center again... He's going to do that giant hit on you again. He'll drain you all the way back down to 5 HP. So it's really good. Like, you don't want to just fully top off. Because if you don't kill him in time, he's going to do that huge hit on you again. And it's going to waste all that brew that you drank to get fully topped back off. So you really don't want to, you know, you don't want to waste brew on Vasa. You kind of want to want to stay mid-health. Like, out of the region of getting KO'd, but, uh, you know, not fully topped off. So this next room up here is Mystics. And if you have Max Mage, it's pretty good here. Max Mage is pretty good. I guess I didn't bring my helm. This is a safe spot right here. It'll drag him here, and he barely hits you. He might get an occasional hit off. But he definitely attacks less. Look, he's not hitting you on hit. So anyway, as I was saying, Max Mage is pretty good. Max Mage isn't bad. Um, max Range is pretty good. Both is good. You know, you can use your range gear. Basically, if you don't have Max Mage, you want to use your range gear. And if you're using your range gear, you should also have, down here, you should have brought an extra item the salve ei it's the blue salve you definitely want to bring the blue salve if you're ranging if you're maging don't worry about it i'm maging i'm not worried about it but if you're ranging you want to bring that blue salve so if i stand here only one of them can see me at a time so i'm not going to pull that double aggro and waste additional um supplies waste additional brews i have plenty wouldn't be that big of a deal but again i'm using big gear so if you're using say both and crystal you know you can hit them from here this is fine both of both of these little safe spots will work uh with bofa um if you're using a crossbow i don't know you might have to do the initial lure on long range you might have to hit him the first time on long range and then maybe accurate will work um again i, I don't really recommend doing cms uh with, with much less than a bofa I, I think a bofa is you know oops very helpful when you're doing cms But it's not necessary. You know, you could get away with a budget setup. Um, I don't recommend it. I do recommend having a Bofa, having a Lance, um, at least having a Sang Staff. You know, it's going to be very helpful for Ulm. Uh, Shadow's great. Shadow works in many rooms. It works at Vanguards. It works at Mystics. Shadow's great. It works at Mutadiles coming up, which is our final room. Here we go. Mystics are down. So let's top back off. We're going into the hardest hitting room in the raid. Let's get fully topped off. Drink our overload. Drink our prayer in hands. We're going to want to be completely ready to do big damage in this next room. And we're going to start in our mage gear. Alright. Start with range prey on. And we're going to kill Baby Mutadile. So start with Range Prey on. And when you get right next to him, throw your Melee Prey on. Stay in his Melee range with Melee Prey on. He, does, he likes to do chomping way more than he likes to do range. And his chomps will always hit a zero. So look, now he can't even move. He's forced to stay in my Melee range. Here's why we brought the ZGS. Slap him with the spec. So when he gets below half health and he starts walking toward the tree, oops, I should get next to him. When he starts walking toward the tree, 
We slap him with the ZGS. If we miss, not a big deal, but we're gonna waste some extra supplies, okay? For Mama Mutadile, we're gonna use our range gear, and we're gonna pray range. And this is a safe spot for Mama Mutadile. So she's just gonna kinda pelt us. We'll just keep our range prey on. Looks like she's about to go below half. I got my uh, ZGS ready. Let's even get my piety on. And there it is. Oh, not yet. One more hit. Let's top off so she doesn't surprise us. Maybe one more hit. There it is. And we'll ZGS spec her really quick. Missed. So that sucks. That's random. If you miss your ZGS spec, you're just kind of screwed. At this point, you're just going to have to range her down. She'll eat. We're just going to have to brew through everything. And uh, this is why Muted Isle sucks. You just take a lot of big damage and hopefully... It's an eating simulator. It's a brew simulator. Hopefully she doesn't kill us. Looks like we'll get another chance with the ZGS. Oh, and I'm slow. I wasn't really thinking to use the ZGS. I kind of looked at it at the last second. But that would have been nice if it hit. She'll go down anyway. So yeah, when she's walking to the tree, good time to ZGS her. Be faster than me. She's about to go down. But yeah, if you stand here, she's not going to chomp you. You're safe here. You just got to brew through all the attacks she does. Drops some potions. Drops another overload. Prayer in hands. And we're good to go. We're going to Ulm. That's the full raid. That's all 12 rooms of a challenge mode Cox. No special techniques. Um, the techniques I used in this um, video, you can use with whatever gear you have. I highly recommend having decent gear for cms there's no great reason to be doing cms unless you have decent gear and you're going for the ancestral armor kits or the ulm dust um if you just have you know mid gear we can totally do normal mode raids with budget gear which will be the next video we will be going over that but for cms i definitely suggest having pretty decent gear saying uh claws um, if you have a shadow, great. If you have the Inquisitor's Maze, great. Um, Inquisitor armor is good. Bandos armor is good. Torba armor is great, you know. But the better gear you have, the easier your CMs are going to be. But what I really wanted to show is you don't need insane strategies to just run casual solo CMs. Look, we're at 40 minutes. We weren't rushing at all. We weren't using any fancy strategies. All we gotta do, we got we got like a half hour. We got a full half hour to go and kill Ulm. No big deal. No big deal. We can totally beat CMs in under the uh, the challenge mode time. And uh, you know, we if you beat a CM in under the challenge mode time, you have a chance at the kit, which is why we're running this. But it's nice. We get to see every room. Uh, we get to see how casual a run can be. Uh, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. Um, Vespula, you don't have to rush on Vespula. Um, there's really easy strategies for Tecton. You know, I hope you guys got to see really how all the rooms can be done in a very easy manner, right? Ice Demon can just be cheesed. From that little safe spot tile, right? In and out, in and out. Back on uh, Ice Demon. Most of the rooms can be simplified to a very easy mode. And uh, you're not going to be stressing about time. We're not stressing about time at all. This is an easy sub one hour run. Right? What we just showcased. Easy sub one hour run. So I hope this helped. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys liked seeing all the rooms. I'll have timestamps down in the description. Uh, you can just jump around to all those. Uh, you know, I like I said, I brought max gear. There, You don't need all this gear. You definitely do not need all this gear. But I highly recommend at least a BOFA. Um, some, a, a 
decent mage weapon. You can get away with a trident. A trident is okay, but a sang is really nice. Uh, for you iron men, you can bring a, a trident. It's okay. Trident of the swamp, right? No big deal. Toxic trident. Um, Bofa. Uh, Lance. You know, as long as you have those items, I know they're a bit of a grind. I know they're kind of expensive for you mains, you know. But I highly recommend those items. Anyway, that's it. That's the uh, that's the challenge mode run. We're not going to kill Ulm. I just wanted to show off all the rooms. And uh, cool. I'll see you guys in the next one. Next one's going to be a normal mode budget setup cox. We're going to do all the rooms. Uh, great. Have fun. Good luck.